We just put our first storage units in. Stupid. Yeah. Shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> the cuts are actually dangerous. Yeah, it's actually super sharp too. <laughs> we just took out the central console. The refrigerator will fit perfectly right there. These were the tricky part. What the heck this stuff is for? Why do companies do it like this? It makes no sense. And sure as shit, there are the parts. We just got our little sofa in. We don't have a very big space for it. We have hammocks that hang from the ceiling. We're gonna pop the top on this van and put a bedroom upstairs. I know it sounds crazy, but it's gonna be awesome. We have our kayaks, we have our bikes, hammocks. Hey guys, so it's day 701 of our van build, and that's just a dumb joke. What is this so far? 10 days? I right, we've lost count. We just put our first storage units in. We have one little problem. We have this gap because the screws we use to mount them to the bottom are interfering, I guess, with this closing all the way. So we're gonna find some kind of magnet closure that will pull these closed and that gap will be gone. We're just gonna get them all installed first and figure out that part later. We put baby locks on here that will keep them closed while we're in transit. Um, they are magnetic and you can unlock and lock them. See it kind of pops up and then when the magnet gets close. Yeah, so go ahead and do it. So that's locked. And unlock, and then we can we can like permanently. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do that every single time. If we're staying somewhere for a week, we don't want to have to do that every single time. So what we did was we mounted. There was, we have wood underneath to as support, and we screwed it into the wood three times. We have four screws with washers on each corner into the wall. Seems to be pretty stable. Yeah. We were going to use this uh, super strong Velcro that we bought. The Velcro is awesome. Velcro is awesome, but the adhesive on the back of the Velcro is not. Stupid. Yeah. The company was supposed to send us, it's called an adhesion promoter, promoter which I guess makes it even more sticky, but they didn't include that and we can't readily get it and we just want to get this done. Um, we could order it, but it would take three or four days to get here. We just want to get this done. So we went this route. This is probably a better solution anyways. First. Top or bottom? Uh, I don't think it matters. Hard. All right, we just installed our storage containers on our walls here. We're gonna put another one up here, up high on the door, and another one here. What is it, Papa? Everything's new, huh, Papa? We're not even done yet. All right, it's yet another day of our van build we're getting really really close we're just kind of doing the final touches now we did the storage boxes 
course we did the deck system yesterday we did our floor we're not finished we still have trim to do trim up here and then we're going to cover this ugly cable mess I'm trying to figure out see the big black wire thing these metal diamond plate they somehow are supposed to go up here i think we figured out this side but the rest of it makes zero sense and the company legend sent these with our system for our vehicle and there's no documentation there's no information anywhere it makes no sense at all so we're kind of stuck putting this puzzle together that doesn't make nothing, any sense doesn't make any sense nothing matches like huh? the cuts are actually dangerous yeah it's actually super sharp too <laughs> Oh look, we have slobber from our bloodhound. Chrisom. <laughs> Cut a piece of this off. Right here. Yeah. I mean that will look nicer than just a silicone, you know, caulking or whatever right there. Because so we have this diamond plate stuff. And then that, and then it's gonna be up there too. It's gonna be like shiny, shiny, shiny. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of shine. What do you think? Well, I think it looks great. Yeah. And we'll make it work. It's coming together nicely. So one other thing I'm working on today is removing this center console because our refrigerator will fit perfectly right there. It's, it's really easy to remove, but it's just because they're kind of the screws, the bolts are hard to get to. We're here for a few more days working on this, and then we'll be back on the road. We're excited to get back on the road. We just took out the central console in our Nissan NV3500 with USB and 120 outlet. Very simple to get out. It's just uh, six bolts, 10 millimeter. You do need an extension socket. But these were the tricky part because these were attached. These are, were attached to the console. The hardest part was detaching the front part from the console. So apparently there's a squeeze point, yeah, right here. You can see on these clips, if you squeeze these just right, they will pop out. Um, these come off. This white thing comes off really easy, and so does this gray. I won't even show you, it's so easy. Just sim simple clips, get a screwdriver, push that in, you're done. So we're gonna have to figure out where we want this and reinstall it somehow. We're gonna put our refrigerator right here, which is the Iceco JP50 model right here. The problem we're finding with this refrigerator is extra parts that came with it. Um, came with all these gadgets. I think they're going to be useful. They look, they look like they're meant for something. <laughs> and a bunch of hardware. But if you look at the unit underneath, we, we already did that. There, there's nothing, there's nowhere obvious to mount. Um, if you look in the owner's or the user guide, it shows everything that comes with this. But as you can see, that stuff is not listed. You know, the cords are, the baskets and stuff and such. But there's absolutely nothing in here, anywhere in here that says, what the heck this stuff is for? Why do companies do it like this? It makes no sense, you know? They like, send instructions, but not for everything. Right, and partial instructions. Any instructions. instructions. And parts that even really look like they fit. So I'm going to go do some research online, go to the website and see if there's more information. Maybe there's a YouTube video, somebody else has encountered this and gave a solution. If, if I find that, I'll pass it along. Okay, I was able to find installation instructions online, why they wouldn't include this with the actual unit, and no idea. I just searched ISCO JP50 installation manual and this came right up. And sure as shit. There are the parts, the mystery parts. So we're gonna figure it out. So this is kind of funny. All these mystery pieces we were wondering about, these things, a bunch of these things, on this Iceco JP50 refrigerator. They're just, it's just handle. It's just a way to mount handles on both sides so you can <laughs> carry it easier. We thought it was like wheels or went underneath or it was part of the support. No, just handles.
We just got our little sofa in and we hope it fits because we don't have a very big space for it. Yeah. Let's see. So we just got this and we're gonna open it up. Trifold sofa bed. We provide a tool just for this purpose. Oh, that's really smart. So you don't have to use a knife and slice it in half by accident. So if anybody's wondering, it's a trifold sofa bed. Look. Oh yeah, it says after unrolling, allow up to 48 hours, two days, for product to return to its intended size. That's a lot of plastic. It looks like it's gonna fit. Beautiful. Look at that, look at that. Just fits with like a couple inches to spare. We wanted the queen, but that would have been too wide. That's gotta be plenty big. How's it feel? We need some pillows like to lean against the back doors when they're closed. Let me look at it from the other side. Yeah, it's gonna get bigger, so that back is gonna look taller, I guess. Yeah. Or is that? Huh. I mean, that's all we needed. We just needed somewhere to sit down. It's not like hard plastic. Yeah, it's not that. I mean, yeah, we just need something soft, you know. Okay. Now you're making it into a Shea Lounge. There you go. That's awesome. And remember, we're not really going to sleep on this because we're going to have hammocks for now hanging from the ceiling, which we've done before. So what we're going to do is we never intended on like sleeping on this thing. I mean, it could happen, but because we have hammocks that hang from the ceiling. And we've done that before, before, you know, we did the walls and the insulation and everything. But we wanted something better. So we're going to pop the top on this van and put a bedroom upstairs. I know it sounds crazy, but it's something that we can do. Um, they cut a hole, basically a port in the ceiling here with a ladder. We'll talk about it when we actually do it. We're not sure. It might be a couple months from now. We'll see. It's going to be awesome. We're excited. Working on the decked drawer system, installing locks. We have a kayaks, we have a bikes, hammocks. We'll do a proper band tour in the near future. Um, we're, still, we're still working on some odds and ends, some of the final touches, and kind of want to have it all together before we do the full band tour. We still need to pick up our kitchen unit um, somewhere near Reno, Lake Tahoe area. I'm not sure exactly. Um, so that'll be really nice when we get that installed because that'll provide us with our hot water system, our cooktop. We, well, we have a refrigerator, but we can actually get a second refrigerator if we want to act as either as a refrigerator or freezer. They're single zone units, meaning they can either be a refrigerator or a freezer. So we may end up with two of them, just to be one of each. 